Hi everybody, Susan Rashawn here, the Techie Mentor. Thanks for stopping by my YouTube channel, the Virtual Assistant Tips, Tricks, and Advice channel, where I share all things Virtual Assistant every week with zero fluff, just the stuff that gets results. Okay, so today I wanna talk to you about um, something called front-end services and back-end services. And this is kind of related to the, the post that I did um, a couple weeks ago at this time it was a couple weeks ago, um, that has to do with why you don't wanna call yourself a virtual assistant. And the main point of that post was because most people think you're an admin in one way, shape, or form. And that's okay if you are, but it's not okay if you're not. Like I was not um, an admin. I didn't wanna offer administrative skills. Nothing against it, it was just something I didn't like to do and I wanted my freedom. And when it comes to offering admin services, you are tied to your computer, at least most of the time, um, because you need to be available either for your clients or your clients' clients. I didn't want that. I wanted to do more back-end stuff because I was a techie anyways and I'm system oriented, I gravitated towards um, the technology side of things. So I wanna to talk to you because I am really someone who focuses on teaching virtual assistants the back end systems and skills. And why I do that is because I would say 75% of the people that come into this industry are administrative in nature, which means they're an EA, a PA, or they have some type of admin skills, which is all great and good. But the clients that I work with are really looking for more than admins. They are looking for people that can do the back end and the systems that they need that run their business. So a quick definition for you is front end services or skills are the ones where you work directly with either the client or the client's client. So anything customer service, email, um, phone, those would all be customer service. Um, there are other types of skills, events, maybe you do um, inbox or email management for them. Those you usually have to be in the office at a specific time. You have to be available to your clients or your clients' clients. It's all fine and good if that's what you want, but as I mentioned, I wanted freedom. I didn't want to be tied to my desk specific hours of specific days. I wanted freedom to work when and where I want, and that's what the back end systems and skills gives to you. It also gives you more money. You are gonna earn more money as someone who does back-end services, right? So technology and systems than somebody who does front-end stuff. That's just the way it is. Why? Because clients can do their own admin work. They can answer their phone, they can do their email. Not that they should, but they can. They know how to manage that part of their business. But what they don't know, or are afraid to, to work with, I should say, is the back end. They don't know MailChimp. They don't know how to log into the back end of their WordPress website. They don't know anything about social media, right? That's what back end services are all about. They're really that digital marketing umbrella. And digital marketing is really social media, it's, it's websites, it's SEO, it's content management, it's content creation, it's copy. All of those things fall under the digital marketing umbrella. Those are all back end skills and services, right? So that's really the difference between what I would say front end skills, which is admin assistant type work versus the back end. With a back end, the services and the skills that you offer, you're more of a partner to your business or to your, to your clients because you're working in their business, right? And these are the things that they A, don't know how to do or B, are afraid to do. And so you're going to earn more money because it also helps you specialize. Most people, and this is just a generalization I know, um, that offer admin skills have a tough time either finding clients or making enough money. And there's a couple reasons for that. One is, again, admin skills pay less than the techie and the backend stuff. And B, clients don't need as many admins as they need backend systems. So as I mentioned, about 75% of the people that come into the VA industry offer admin type services. Well, clients need more than that. They need people that can do the backend stuff. They need people who are skilled and trained to be able to do social media management, to be able to manage their WordPress, manage their email marketing, their MailChimp or whatever the tools are. So realize there's a bigger demand for back-end services than there is front-end services and you're gonna get paid more for back-end services than front-end services and you also can specialize. So people will really understand what you do. A lot of admins are generalists. They do a, a ton of different things but they're 
They don't specialize in one specific thing, and that makes it harder to market and harder to find clients. So if you're looking to get away from admin skills, maybe you wanna earn more money, maybe you wanna make it easier for you to get clients, then the back-end skills or back-end services might be something you want to look into. So what would be examples of those? Again, digital marketing, social media management, um, anything website, WordPress, Wix, Squarespace, okay? You could go deeper and you could do search engine optimization and keywords. Uh, you could write copy. Uh, you could do video editing. So think about anything that doesn't require you to talk to your clients' clients. That's really gonna be more back-end work. It gives you the freedom to work when and where you want. It also earns you more money. It also allows you to specialize. And at the end of the day, it makes it easier to get clients and easier to earn great money. So that's kind of my high-end list. Now I do have my little list of um, bullets, so I just wanna make sure I didn't miss anything. Oh, I know, <laughs> and forgive me, but one of the other things is you're viewed differently by your clients when you're a specialist than when you're an assistant. There's just, for whatever reason, it's a perception, but you are viewed differently when you're somebody who is a specialist or a consultant versus an assistant, because face it, you help them run their business. Right? And this isn't the same as an online business manager, an OBM, okay? A VA is not the same as an OBM, which is really not the same as maybe a back-end specialist, okay? What an OBM does, an online business manager, this is training that Tina Forsyth does. She does great, great training on this. But this is for somebody who really operates the business and, and they run the day-to-day -day business for a client. So they may do some back-end stuff, but they're not a VA. They don't do admin type tasks. Now they may manage, VAs, but if you're interested in what an OBM does, I highly recommend you jump over to Tina's website, onlinebusinessmanager.com and, and, and find those details. But realize a VA is not the same as an OBM, okay? Remember, VA is, is really not a title, it's an industry. OBM is uh, a different than VA, so make sure that you check that out. But you are kind of looked at differently when you're an assistant versus an OBM, right? Because of the roles and responsibilities you have. And that's what it really comes down to. Right? It's the roles and responsibilities that you carry for your clients. Now, obviously you're important when you're an admin because you're talking to your client's clients, that's important, but it's also important that all the systems in the background that run an online business, which gives you what they call passive income so you can work when and where you want, those have to work as well. So if your client has somebody wants to buy something and they click on the buy button and it doesn't work, obviously that affects their bottom line. That again is what the back end systems allow you to do. So hopefully I've kind of given you some ideas about the differences between front end and back end. These are my definitions, right? These are my categories because I really focus on back end. And I know I'm not the only one who talks about back end, but I don't teach anything administrative. I focus just on the back end systems and skills. So if you're somebody who wants to move into something that gives you more freedom, that's really what I'm all about. So thanks for joining me for this week's uh, video or podcast. Um, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to add those below. If you liked this video or podcast, please be sure to like it. And if you want to subscribe so you don't miss anything, please feel free to do so. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.